All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I am back with another video here back with day two for me day three of camp for the Flyers training camp analysis. I know I'm not in I'm in my normal spot. I'm not at Voorhees right now. I had I'm leaving early coming home um, as I do have work again. Um, but a uh, bunch of things happened today. You had group A coverage. I had group B coverage. Also had the Flyers Warriors press conference. Um, did a lot. Busy day. Uh, and now I uh, got the video here. So we do have some updates um, injury wise. There were a couple things that were just announced. Um, and uh, also my thoughts from group A and group B and a couple things. So just to start off with group A couple of changes. Uh, J.R. Avon was skating with this group, uh, one of the younger prospects who recently just signed his entry-level deal. Um, also, along with Samu Tuamala, Ryan Fitzgerald, he was hurt for Group C, um, so Tuamala came in for him. Avon, that I presume that to him coming in for Tanner Lagzinski. There was no Lagzinski, as we noticed in the warm-up. Uh, Jackson Vandalist and Logan Day, they were both defensemen. Uh, they were out there yesterday for Group C. They skated with Group A today. Um, early on, Urson was getting some blocker side work on the other end. Um, Atkinson, he fired one by Jones. He had a really great show, uh, great shot, excuse me, uh, low blocker there on the line rush. It's, uh, that line with Atkinson, Limblom, and Broussard, um, that line looks fantastic. Uh, really clicking on the, on the rushes. A lot of, they've scored a handful of goals on the rushes. Uh, very vocal. They definitely have chemistry. And uh, I was talking with Chris Stumps from the Liberty L. He said that they were looking like that since day one. Um, and I've seen that definitely uh, in days two and three when I was there. So uh, they've looked really good. And again, as I said, Limbrom, Rosard Atkinson, they've just been so good uh, all over. It seems like they have a lot of chemistry together. Um, Atkinson can you know really shoot the puck, and he's definitely gone for that that quick rush or a handful of times. So we've seen that a good amount too. Uh, Yandley broke up a uh, two on one rush with Drew and Couturier. His active stick showed again. Uh, Tuamala had a beautiful shot um, on the rush, cut in, sniped it low. It, it didn't even look like he was going to shoot, um, but he did. And, and he's definitely showcased that wrist shot um, a good amount here in camp. Uh, Yandel ended up breaking up another rush, shield off Avon along the wall. He just basically gave him no chance. Um, Couturier, he scored a tip goal, 5 on 5 rushes, cycle play from Drew and Ellis. Uh, Coots tipped it past hard. That was a pretty good setup there. Coots was able to get himself open and tip that puck by. Um, group A did look pretty good, um, and hopefully tomorrow we'll see some more of those guys with the power play. I think that's going to be the main thing there um, for the power plays and stuff like that. Uh, as for Group B, uh, Linus Hogberg, he went off the ice um, pretty early on. Uh, Matthew Strom was taking reps with Brian Zanetti, who was Hogenberg's partner. Uh, Ristolainen had physical play on Albi Cabell, but then he let him free and go to the net. And I think that's one thing a lot of people are going to be very crazy on with Ristolainen. It seems like now that with Ristolainen, everybody's just going to oh my god, Ristolainen made a bad play, and then everybody's going to talk about it, and then it's going to be the same thing if he makes a good play. So I think overall I'm just looking for Ristolainen to have a solid year um, and play solid defense. I think that's one thing that a lot of people are just like, you know, if if he has a good year, what do you pay him? If he doesn't, all this stuff. So who knows? But um, the next drill, he had a really nice play on Jackson Cates, took the puck off of him, made a really nice quick break out of the ice. Very smart and safe play. Um, and that's the things that I want to see. I want to just see good defensive hockey. I, I don't necessarily think there's many guys that the Flyers have really had that are that aggressive defensively and things like that. I was just talking about that with Jamie Baskow from Flyers and Nate Gritty, um, and he was saying the same thing. Like, there aren't really many guys that they've had do that. So I think that's the thing that the Flyers, obviously, they needed physicality. They bring in rest of line. And so, again, just keep in mind, this guy's played on Buffalo his entire career. So keep, keep that in mind. Uh, Clendenning had a really nice play for, uh, for a setup, um, almost set up Thompson for a goal seconds later. York has been partnered with Clendenning, which is one thing I've noticed. Um, that definitely seems like that could be the top pairing down at Lehigh Valley, which would make sense. Um, those guys could get called up. I don't think the Flyers are going to start the season with seven defensemen. I think they'll most likely start um, with six because you, you have the first four games are at home. So if you need to to bring up anybody, you can call somebody from Lehigh Valley. But when they go on the Western Canada road trip early in the year, they go from Edmonton, Vancouver, and Calgary and everything, that's when I think they'll bring a defenseman with them. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody gets recalled for that. Um, so they look pretty good so far. Um, I've liked York. I've liked Clendenning. Uh, I think they've been pretty solid. Uh, Sandstrom's had a, a, he had a beautiful sprawling save on a three-on-two rush. Um, he went post to post, got a piece of it, ended up flying out the other way. Frost, uh, he tried a between the leg shot. Sandstrom got a piece of it, uh, ended up going high. But overall, camp was pretty good today. Um, there was a lot of good things. Um, also did the Flyers' words, as I said, uh, had that press conference. 
as well uh, for the Warrior Classic. You can check that out. I have the full press conference up on my channel. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.